It's 3.40 p.m. Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. Just very briefly wanted to say that a guy named Terry Joel Jr. has been quite right with his headlines, um, video topics and such. <clears throat> that uh, 2022 is going to be the year of a turnaround of uh, people like me getting a chance to actually accomplish something and be successful. Other headlines like uh, your haters are going to immediately become jealous of your success. This was proven last night. Um, and also that everyone who attempts to screw you over when you are in a position like mine are effectively minions of the devil. On... Uh, Friday night, I had a banger of a night. It was my personal best earning. Almost at the point where people were making the money that I was upset about not making all through the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. Uh, legitimate return to suicidal ideation around Thanksgiving that I had. And, uh, you know, watch people get their holiday tips and... Christmas time, people throwing them $50 bills, and the biggest tip that I made the entire Christmas season was $13 and change. I've had two nights where I made more than that individually on tips after the new year. And the nights when I finally got to do good, instead of having to crack $100 while everyone else is making $50 to $80 more than me per night. Meanwhile, of course, my gas mileage on my vehicle is twice as bad as anybody else's. Um, the attitude I caught from everybody else was, oh, it's okay, man. You know I mean? You know, you get bad days. It happens. You also do pretty good normally. And it's like, yeah, except that I've never made that much money ever and would be nice to get my fair share and, uh, start getting better outcomes here the last week or two. And the jealousy definitely set in and these other people that were like faking compassion for me before and you know, when I recognized that I was having a massive good night and that someone else that I thought was a friend was not having such a good night, that I just kept mum about it. Didn't really say much. Got asked, like, man, I don't think you want to know, but it's how much I made. I'm not going to feel bad about doing well. But as last night proved, I'm also not going to allow someone else to cheat me or screw me around. What happened last night was, dude was having a bad night. He is one of the ones that had consistently been making more than me. And as soon as I start making more, they all started complaining, including him. Not to me directly, but you could hear the bitching and moaning. And me being a nice guy gave a runoff to make it a double for this dude. And after that point, my tips my doubles, my quality runs that I'd been on, just fairly picking up luck of the draw. Meanwhile, his went... Whoosh, and immediately he began gloating about how much money he was making when he was crying about it half an hour before. And how I knew that this was what was going on, as well as that there were choices being made that were allowing me to falter and suffer while someone else made money, was uh, there were, I want to say, probably 10 or more deliveries to upscale hotels with upscale customers leaving upscale tips. Everybody was coming back. Oh, man, I took that hotel double. It was great. They tipped this and this. Oh, another hotel. I better take them all. They're at the same hotel. I never visited that hotel complex the entire night. I never visited that complex. And toward the end of the night, I seen uh, this dude taking a bogus double that put me into a bullshit spot. And uh, all I said was, man, those hotel runs with them tips must be nice. I haven't gotten a single one. And immediate switch flip. Immediate, oh, so I'm fucking you over, huh? Well, I never said that. 
I said, those tips must be nice. But to immediately come around on that's kind of, yeah, that's what it is. And apologies or no, attempts to, to reconcile or no, once that door's been opened, you know it's just going to keep cracking back open repeatedly and easier and easier every time. So that means I have to go into look out for number one mode. That means I have to stop doing any favors, doing any nice things for anyone, even if I consider them a friend. And sorry for your fucking luck is pretty much what my catchphrase is going to end up turning out to be. Sorry, bro. Not my problem. Because I'm obviously nobody else's problem. My concerns are nobody else's problem. And even though I do right by others and they refuse to do right by me, now it's all for me. This is my year. This is a year that I am going to succeed. This is a year that I'm going to do well. I'm going to exceed what I've made in the past two years. No, I am not going to allow anyone for any reason whatsoever, no matter who they are, to step on me like that. If you got problems with your finances, cancel all those streaming services. Cancel the high-speed home internet. Cancel the video game subscriptions. Stop buying random stupid shit that you don't need. Because I don't have or do any of those things. I'm just trying to make enough money to save up to pay my bills, to pay for the things on my truck, and to cover stuff like my property tax, which I'm still drastically behind on. And the next payment's coming up in about two months. And I'm like 100 bucks on an $800 payment from last six months. I'm not going to be willing to listen to or hear anybody else's bullshit about anybody else's fucking life circumstances. I've been stepped over enough. Now is my fucking time. And nobody else has any right to get upset at my success because I did not get upset at their success. Everybody have a good night.